Hello cookies, it's Siri, I'm back and today I'm bringing you a review of the new Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Vintage Palette. This palette was sent to me by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, thank you so much. But as usual, this review is going to be my honest, unbiased... Do you say unbiased? Unbiased? I always tend to say unbiased, but I guess it's unbiased, unbiased review. So this is how the palette looks like when it arrives. So it arrives in this thing here. So when you take it off, it looks like this from the front. And then from the back, you have the name of the shades. So this is how the palette looks like up close and personal. As for the swatches from left to right, you have custard cream, dirty brown, amber, cocoa lace, Persian Rose, Cranberry Crush, Velvet Bronze, and Moonberry. First of all, when it comes to the color, I think that they go really well together because you have those three shades here that are matte, and then you have these two that have glitters in them, and then you have those ones here, those three that are shimmery. So I like the fact that you have a combination of different types of eyeshadows because you can always use those matte shades with these shimmer ones or these ones. So I really like palettes that have both matte and shimmer. When it comes to the quality of the eyeshadows, I think that they're all really good quality. Even though I have to say that the matte ones are slightly less pigmented than those shimmery ones. And then those two here that are mostly glittery. This one is more glittery than this one they're kind of slightly stiff. So I feel like this one that I actually have on my eyebrows right now is the stiffer out of all of these ones. And it has kind of lots of fallouts when, um, when I take it with the brush, but then when I applied it, when I applied it, it, <laughs> oh, I just can't speak. When I apply it, it doesn't have that much fallouts, but on the brush itself, when you start to like dip your brush in it, it kind of has some fallouts. When it comes to those three eyeshadows, I think they're very buttery and creamy and pigmented. So I really like the consistency and the texture of those. And like I said, even though those are less pigmented and they're kind of stiffer and not as buttery because of course they are matte eyeshadows, I think they're still really good quality for matte eyeshadows. One thing that I kind of like as well is that even though those two have some glitters, the glitters in this one here are so, so tiny that it's actually kind of matte when you apply this shade and then you have some tiny, tiny gold glitters. So there's enough glitters to make it interesting, but it's not like too much. So there's not just glitters you see all the time, like the glitters show when you kind of like move around if you have it on your eyes or like a little bit under your eyes, maybe. Then if you move around, you see that, oh, there's some tiny reflection, but it's not like you're wearing some brown glitter. I personally prefer the first Makeup Addiction Cosmetics palette, the Flame in Love palette, because the colors are kind of like brighter and more in your face. And that is up my alley. You cookies know that I'm all about those colors, those crazy things. I mean, look at my face right now. <laughs> if this doesn't say I'm into crazy colors and weird stuff, then I don't know what says it. But then again, this is still like, okay, if you want to go for something crazy, because I only use this palette, except from the white stuff, everything on my face is this palette. So it shows that it still goes to do some crazy stuff with it while you can still do some normal everyday makeup with it as well. So it is pretty versatile. And that's the end of this review. I hope you cookies enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss the upcoming videos. And thank you so much for watching then. So until next time, I will see you cookies at the next video. Bye-bye.